<laughs> You're welcome. Mm -mm -mm. Beachy glam waves, you know what I mean? With your little beachy short waves, you know what I mean? Hey, gorgeous. <laughs> Hi, I'm Mallory Brooke, makeup artist and content creator here on YouTube, and today I'm gonna to show you how I get beachy waves with my short, short hair with the Dyson Air Wrap. So I know you guys saw my, you know, voluminous 90s type bob style. Well, I feel like I've finally gotten the hang of how to do beachy waves with this for my short hair, so let's get into it. First of all, I wanna clean up my part. A clean part is like, honestly, a big part, <laughs> you're welcome, of how a style looks professionally styled. If you have a clean part, girl, mm, 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 it really does just make everything look perfected. If you're having a bad hair day, as long as you have a good clean part, you're good to go. All right, so starting out, I'm just going to dry my hair, get it about halfway dry, and then we'll get into the curling part. So I'm going to use the smoothing tool. There we go. All right, now that most of the moisture is knocked out of the roots and the roots are kind of smooth because I do have naturally curly hair, I am going to turn to the brush. And I just want to knock out any frizziness, especially around my face where my hair curls the most. Mm -mm -mm. All right, now that most of the frizz has been knocked out, it is time to section my hair. And this is what I do because my hair is so short at the bottom. Just gonna section it and I'm gonna finish the bottom with the little round brush attachment. And I'm gonna take it away from my face so it goes with the beachy wave that we're gonna create on the top. And now I'm gonna go to the other side because I don't wanna create the beachy waves over here and then have everything blow all over. So just doing the, top, the two bottom sections with the round brush. Hey, gorgeous. All right, now I'm going to attach the smaller barrel. Haha, -ha, because the long one is too long <laughs> for my hair. And I'm gonna adjust it going away from my face. I'm still kind of learning that part. And I'm gonna let it grab my hair and hold. Instead of like doing this motion to create volume, I'm just gonna hold the curl and do this section by section. Once you curl away from the face or towards the face, just kind of train the curls in the direction they should go and let them sit for a second. The biggest learning curve with the Dyson Airwrap is letting it do the work for you. If you try to kind of control it too much like a curling iron, you're just not gonna get a good result. Also, keeping a little spray bottle with you helps if it takes you longer to style your hair than you realize. You can just dampen your hair and keep going. Now I'm going to, did I switch it? Switch the direction. And do the same thing over here. All right, now I'm just going to let the curls cool for a second. And if I see any place that I wanna recurl, then I just honestly recurl. And this gives me much more of a, like a classic beachy look, like because I have naturally curly hair. So some of the, like the damp texture will come through. And then I spray with a texturizing spray and it's very beachy. So I see this really wants to not curl. So I will just go ahead and do that again. I love you, I'll be right back. Love you. There we go. I will just twist it that way. And I wanna kinda curl this one around my face one more time. There we go. Now I will just let my curls cool for a minute or two and then I will comb through. Hey, gorgeous. All right, it has been a few minutes and I just set my comb down and where did it go? There we go. All right, get you a wide tooth comb and I am just gonna comb through and then go back and flip through these curls. So by holding the barrel longer, you get much more of a, like a defined curl rather than like volumized, you know, body. And now I'm just using the Kevin Murphy Bedroom Hairspray. It's kind of like the best of both worlds. A texture spray that also is like a little bit like a beach wavy spray. I'm gonna separate. These curls, oh my God, I could wear the bedroom hair spray like a perfume. 
I do hope that Dyson will come out with something a little more short hair friendly with barrels and stuff, but as far as having to work with long hair barrels, I feel like I get really great results. I love how texturized and beachy my hair looks. It's a little like beachy glam waves, you know what I mean? So this is the final result, and this is, again, a totally different look than the volumized kind of 90s feel. If you would like to see that tutorial, I will have that linked below, as well as all of the hair products that I prepped my hair with and finished my hair with, which is just the Kevin Murphy bedroom spray, but everything will be linked in the info box below. Let me know, all my short-haired gals, will you be trying this out? I hope that my journey with the Dyson Airwrap helps you out as well. It's still like a learning curve. I feel like once I feel like I had the handle on it, like I'm still have so much more to learn every time I style my hair with it. So if you want, leave your tips and tricks in the comments below. I would personally love to hear your tips and tricks and the comments are always super helpful in all videos. But this is how I get a beachier look with the Dyson Airwrap with actual short hair. And the back is like super beachy as well. You know, like imagine just like a little, a little beach dress. With your little beachy short waves, you know what I mean? And you can kind of tame them. Oh yeah, also, I'm gonna, I forgot, I want to finish off with the Kevin Murphy Super Goo. This is a really great, like it's like a pomade gel, but it's pretty lightweight, so it doesn't weigh the hair down, but it will give you a more piecey look. So warm it up, go through your ends and twist. Now we're talking beachy waves. I know I was forgetting a step. I've lost my mind recently. Hello. Also, hello to me. yeah. Hello. Hello. I have styled Steven's hair with the Dyson Airwrap. It's much more luxurious than mine. And you can kind of just twirl with your finger. And then now, bless you. <sighs> bless you. You have a much more PC type beachy wave going on and boom. Here are my actual finished beachy waves. Totally forgot this. I feel like it is very important to have some sort of pomade or a gel or a finishing type of mixing like medium for your hair when you have short hair to just make sure that everything is a little bit piecier, messier, and it doesn't end up in like one, you know, like helmet hair. So this is how I get this style. Again, I will have everything in the info box below linked and listed in order of use. I hope you guys enjoyed this. And also, if you haven't already, please give this video a like to see more hair tutorials. It lets YouTube know you enjoy my content and you'll see more of it in your feed. And subscribe if you haven't already. And don't forget to give us our, your tips and tricks in the comments. All right, I'm gonna go enjoy my beachy waves. Tell you what, the Dyson Airwrap, well worth it. Well worth it, very beachy. Hey, gorgeous. <laughs>